Yeah, hi YouTube, it's Michael, and some of you uh, keep asking me for more videos, so this is one more for you. Um, it's about a little project I do for a colleague, which now finally is finished and works quite well. What it is, it is a, a little circuit that enables you to measure temperature via USB port using the DS1621, I believe that's... Uh, uh, it's an I uh, square C two-wire interface uh, temperature probe sort of uh, sensor and it's connected to this uh, board here with the flat cable and see this is the circuit see the circuit right it's a little complicated I mean it's it's, it's it's you could say it's a little over sophisticated for this purpose but well it has an Amiga 8 here FT232 here you could do this could have done this a little simpler but uh, I wanted it to be very reliable so that's what I did um, well it is comprised of firmware which is on the Amiga 8 and it is uses a, a PC client, so the whole thing, as I already told you, is connected via USB. And let's do it now. Uh, this is the software uh, part of the uh, client software, and which is now finished. And what I did, I have this single conversion mode, right? Minus S. So it, it says here. 0 and 7, this is, those are the addresses I have chambered here uh, with those little dip bridges, so you chamber the addresses here, the device scans uh, the bus and finds all those devices and then uh, what it does here says that's 27 degrees and 26 degrees Celsius uh, <laughs> this is Celsius, let's do it again yeah, the difference shouldn't be so so high because this is a very very accurate sensor. Zero dot five degrees accurate. Um, we can make the normal mode, which is continuous. Oh, come on. So once every second, it will update. So I'm gonna take one of the sensors and I, I press my finger on on one of those sensors now. Yeah, and you, what you can see is that it goes up for 29, 29.5. This is because I pressed my finger onto it, 30, almost 30. So, this is probably the proof that it works. Yeah, well, um, I'll probably, if you have interest in this project, just let me know, give you a circuit diagram, and give you give you everything you need to build it. And also, it's very interesting that uh, with the current configuration you could uh, connect four of those sensors to the board. So you have four points where you can measure the temperature and the cable can be way longer than this. I just wanted to waste too much of the flat cable but it can be a few meters several meters if necessary yeah thanks for watching again and see you soon